let's talk about Application Express. Now, Application Express has its own office hours, so I don't want to steal any of their thunder. But one of the things I wanted to bring to the attention of DBAs is one of the things that coming in the new releases of Application Express is a particular tool I think DBAs might find very, very useful because one of the great things about Application Express is if you have a data source, it's so easy to provide a sort of a window or a query opportunity on top of it. I mean, ultimately, that's what Ask Tom is, just simple windows of queries and data entry on top of existing tables. For DBAs, we have so many facilities where maybe existing tools fall short. We might have a query that wants to look at active session history. You know, we might want to look at, you know, DBA table space thresholds. All those database dictionary views are great, and a lot of the reporting we have on them might come from things like SQL Developer or Enterprise Manager. But what if we have some other things? What do we have some facilities that maybe don't meet exactly those tools? Application Express is a fantastic little tool for DBAs on that. If you want to have a tinker with Application Express as a DBA, just to see what's coming, there's this thing called Apple, the early adopter. 19.2 will be coming out soon for Application Express, but you can go to tryapexnow.com to actually try it. And I thought I'd give you a quick demo just to hopefully pique your interest as a DBA of the kind of things you might be able to get out of Application Express. So let's do a new share. And this is, you can see I've come into tryapexnow.com. It's just a version of Application Express running on a free site, similar to apex.oracle.com, but this is the next version coming out. And this is what I thought I'd show you. It's you know, a very, very simple demo, but how cool 19.2 will be. So I'm gonna create a new application. And this is obviously running from Perth to somewhere in the United States. So excuse the latency. So we do a new application. I'm gonna call it Apex 19.2. Um, in fact, I'll call it 19.2. I can't remember if I deleted my previous attempt at this. I'll add a page. And one of the new things is this thing called faceted search. And to help you explain what that is, let's actually do the demo. So I'll call it search. I'll pick a table. I'll use the sales table. This is just the, like the SH schema um, populated. We'll add a page and then we'll create our application. So it's going to run off and do some stuff now. But as you can see, I've done about 10 clicks so far because I'm so lazy. So I don't have to actually type in my username and password again. I'll create an authentication scheme, which is through here, which is actually no authentication. There we go. So I can make that the current one. And then I can run my app. So let's run our application. So as you can see, I've taken what? 45 seconds to build an app on a table. But this is one of the cool things coming in 19.2 of Apex called faceted search. So here's my data from the sales table. What it's done is it's gone out, looked at the sales table, looked at the foreign key constraints, looked at the referential integrity constraints, looked at the relationships to other tables and gone and found that and brought it back into here. This product is actually a product ID in the sales table. It's just a numeric key, but it's worked out this. I should probably be doing a join back to the product table to get the description. And then over here, it's done what we see on a lot of websites, which is in terms of gone and found the most frequently occurring products, the most frequently occurring channels, amount sold and come up with some very simple filtering operations. So I can filter by direct sales or I can filter by direct sales and five megapixel telephoto cameras, et cetera, or I can clear. All of this is what we call faceted search. We've got the number of records put out there. We've got the number, you know, et cetera. So we've got numbers. It's come up with intelligent numbers here based on the amount. It's done an awesome amount of stuff in terms of giving us filtering, giving us intelligent data. It didn't just give us the product ID and the channel ID, which are just surrogate keys. It's gone and done the joins, etc. all with just clicking on a table. This is a real headline feature coming up in 19.2. Hopefully this excites you about Apex 9.2, the fact that as a DBA in particular, I can go click, 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 and I've got a fantastic drill down view into common data sources. Could be the data dictionary, could be application tables, could be any kind of thing related to application that is metadata. We often as DBAs get requests to update metadata for applications. Apex could be a perfect tool for that. So that's what's coming in Apex 19.2 and hopefully that gets you excited about Apex. Bye. Bye.